Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about Add Save for Later option on Cart page. So let's see how can we add Save for Later option on Cart page. So switch to the project and let's open the Cart component view file. Just go inside the resources directory, then views, livewire, and from here just open Cart component dot uh, dot php file. And inside this uh, Cart list item. Uh, let's uh, create a new link for save for later. Okay, so I'm just going to add a link inside this quantity div. Okay, so after this div, uh, first let's uh, let's add here the p tag and class is equal to text center. And now just close this p tag and inside this p tag, let's create an anchor tag href has sign. And inside this anchor tag, just add here the text save for letter. Okay. Now save this file and uh, let's check this uh, link. So switch to the browser and uh, uh, refresh the page. And here you can see the save for letter. Okay. All right. Now let's create a function for save for letter. So let's go inside this cart component class file. So click on app directory http liveware and from here just open cart component.php file all right and inside this file uh, let's create a function so just type here public function and function name uh, let's say function name is switch to save for letter okay and inside this function let's share the row id as argument okay and now let's create a variable item is equal to cart colon colon instance and add here the instance name part and now let's call here the get method okay and inside this get method just pass here the row id okay so just copy and paste here and now part colon colon instance uh, part and just call here the remove okay and inside uh, this remove function pass this row id okay all right now card colon colon instance and add here the new instance for save for letter so just write here save for letter and now call here the add function and inside this add just pass here the uh, product id uh, product name quantity and product price okay so simply write here item arrow id and next item arrow name and add here the quantity one and uh, price dollar item arrow price okay and also associate with a model product model so add here the path uh, first add here the associate associate and inside this just add here the uh, product model path okay app slash models slash product okay and now after this uh, just call emit to card count component for refreshing the uh, card count so i'm just going to copy this line and uh, after this just paste here okay and now put uh, put the message inside the session flash so right here session on the flash method flash and add here the key is uh, success underscore message and simply write here the message item has been saved for letter. All right, now save this file and now go to the cart component view file and uh, here let's call this function. So just copy this function name and. Uh, inside this cut component view file inside this anchor tag just 
right here the click action so for that just write your wire Color. click action click dot prevent and here just call the function save to uh, switch to save for later okay and inside this function just pass here the row id so simply add your single code then double curly bracket dollar item arrow row id row id that's all right okay and now uh let's uh display the save for item here so all item in inside the save for letter so i'm just going to copy uh, this tip this wrap uh, this tip okay uh, so just select from here to here and let's copy this tip and just paste after this uh, summary div okay after this div so i'm just going to here and paste here okay now uh, let's add here the title so simply write here the ht st tag and also add the class title that's box and add some style border at the bottom one pixel solid okay and also add the padding bottom uh, the 15 pixel and now just close the s3 tag and inside this s3 tag just add here a title saved for lacquer okay and also display the uh, number of item inside the save for letter so just add a double curly bracket cart colon colon instance and add here the instance instance name which is this one save for letter so just copy and uh, just paste here okay and now call the function count and after this add here item or items okay all right and now here is the instance name so just copy this instance name save for later and uh, uh, remove this cart and paste here okay save for later and also change here save for later all right now from here just remove this quantity uh, this div all right and uh, here uh, just add here the text uh, move to cart okay not save for letter simply right here move to cart and also remove this subtotal all right and now uh, and here uh, if there is no item in say for letter so just display this message no item and right here no item saved for letter okay all right now let's create uh, two function one fun uh, one function for the move to cart and another function for deleting the product uh, from Save for later. Okay. So for that, just go inside the cart complete class file and here let's create uh, two more functions. So let's create a function, public function, and let's say function name is uh, move to cart, move to cart, and pass here the UID as argument. And inside this function. Uh, I'm just going to copy this and paste inside this function and first change here the instance name. So right here, this one, say for letter, say for letter, and here we change the instance name card. Okay. And uh, also change here the session key name, this uh, underscore success underscore message. And change here the message item has been uh, moved to cart. 
object all right and now let's create a function for deleting product from say for later so write a public function and function name delete uh, from save for letter okay and pass the enter row id and now simply write here cart colon colon instance instance name this one save for letter and just call here the remove function and simply pass this row id All right, and inside the session, mm. call here the flash, flash, and the key. Uh, this key, it's interest for success, interest for message, and add here the message item has been removed from save letter. All right. Okay. Now save this file and now let's copy uh, this. Uh, let's call this function. Uh, so just copy this function name and go to the cart component view file. And inside this move to cart link, uh, you can see here the wire call and click event. I'm just going to remove this function name and paste here move to cart. Okay and pass the argument item row id all right and for deleting the product uh, let's copy this function name delete from uh, save for letter and now you can see here this is the delete link and change here the text delete from save for letter save for letter okay and inside this just paste here the function name while click dot prevent is equal to this function delete from save for letter and inside this just pass here the item arrow row id okay all right now change here the uh, session key so just copy this session key for displaying the message so just copy and paste here uh, okay it's underscore success underscore message also change here the session key all right now save this file now it's done so let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page okay uh, this time you can see here zero items save for letter and you can see here the message no items save for letter okay and inside the cart you can see here three items okay now uh, let's uh, add it add an item uh, to save for letter okay so just click on this link okay call the undefined method cart instance okay spelling mistake so inside this cart complete class file uh, let's check the spelling instance uh, okay here is the mistake uh, let's remove this a instance all right now save this okay now refresh the page all right now let's try one more time so just click on save for letter once again mistake uh, instance instance okay just remove this here now save this and let's try one more time so just refresh the page okay now let's click on save for letter and this time you can see here item has been saved for letter in cart you can see here the zero item and in save for letter you can see here the one item okay 
now let's click on uh, this link uh, for move to cart so just click on this link and you can see here item has been moved to cart okay and inside the save for letter you can see here the zero item and inside the cart you can see here one item okay now let's uh, delete this product from the save for letters uh, save for letter so just first of all let's add this product to save for letter so just click on this link Add it in the full letter. Now let's click on this link for deleting the product. So just click on this link, and you can see here the product has been removed from the full letter. Okay. All right. So in this way, you can use the full letter option in cart page. So that's all about adding the full letter option on cart page. So thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.